All right, so just a few hours after we actually did our video on some of the issues in iOS 18.2 beta 1, Apple has released beta 2 two weeks after beta 1 was released. Now, if you missed that prior video, we were experiencing overheating issues when using any of the Apple intelligence features, whether it was Genmoji, Image Playground, or Magic Wand. Hopefully, first things first, that is addressed in this second beta. In addition to that, we were experiencing pretty bad battery drain. We were consistently having to charge our phone from beta 1. And also, now that we know Apple has confirmed that this version of iOS 18.2 will be released in the first week of December. There's quite a lot going on here and hopefully the timeline will adhere right to that barring any setback. Let's go ahead, jump into 18.2, beta 2, and see how it's working. Let's go. So as you can see, iOS 18.2 beta 2 just finished installing on our 16 Pro Max and a few call outs right off the bat. First things first, this build did come in a little over a gig at 1.38. So nothing crazy outstanding, but a little larger than normal. And then let's jump right into settings and take a look at the build number for this build. All right, so 18.2 beta 2 has a full build number of 22C5125E. And an ease a significant jump from beta 1, we are definitely on the right track here for that release in December, I should say early December actually. Since we're on an e-build, if you're familiar or unfamiliar, I should say, to Apple's betas, the closer you get to the beginning of the alphabet, the more complete this build is and ready for release. So considering this is an E, we are right on track. Beta three and four, I would assume, that will be coming should significantly improve this and get us ready for December. Now, one thing I will call out as well during this update, and then as far as I've been using it for about an hour and a half or so, the phone has been getting significantly warm. It's finally started to cool back down, but keep that in mind, this is not even running Image Playground or anything of that nature. But just to show you how well this is still working as well, let's just jump into a summer stage with Starry Nights. And you can see it is definitely still working as it was prior, still pretty quick and impressive nonetheless. I'm not gonna go into details on these changes since they were on the prior build. However, a couple of changes to ChatGPT is now in settings. If you do jump into there and you saw it just crash on us actually. Now, if you go into Apple Intelligence and Siri, you will have a new option under extensions for ChatGPT to now show you advanced capabilities on the daily limit, or now even upgrade to chat GPT+. And if you do this, it will take you directly into a Safari extension and tell you the difference. If you are unfamiliar with it, as you can see, this is an upcharge of $20 a month and give you five times more messages on GPT-40 and access to even more advanced models. OpenAI has always charged extra for their most recent, uh, basically, options available. So this is nothing new, but you can see what you'll get and you can subscribe right here in browser. Pretty cool, definitely was something a lot of people were asking about and it is now here. One of the other changes is in the Find My app. So in Find My, you can see you have a new splash screen here that says share item location. Get help finding a lost item by sharing its location with an airline or trusted person. They will be able to see the location of your item on a map. And if you hit continue, you can get all of this loaded up. You can look for luggage, other items, and share it as needed. Also in settings, if you are in dark mode, some of the icons do look a little different where they have a border around it, but nothing crazy aside from that, just a slight UI tweak. I will call this out because this was an outstanding issue from the prior beta, but mail, if you're using the new mail app, you can see I have a notification icon of one mail, but if you jump into it, you can clearly see there's quite a few new mails here. Unfortunately, it doesn't break it down. I think it's only showing primary, but if you go through all your updates and you have a number of notifications, don't expect to see all that truly here. It's still not reflecting properly. But aside from that, those are some of the early changes here. Again, Image Playground has been awesome since we got in. There is still a wait list, so if you're not in it, it is gradually rolling out over time. It took us about a week plus to get it. 
Gen Moji has worked very well. I'm hopefully gonna see better battery life improvements from this build because that was a significant hindrance with the heat from beta one. And then we should be expecting the next beta on either the 11th, which is a US holiday, so it could be the 12th, or more likely on the 18th, just depending on how many beta cycles we should get for 18.2. But that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up this video. Let us know how 18.2 has been treating you guys, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.